Do you know why the extended stop is used more and more in high-level basketball, especially by the NBA superstars? To answer this question, we have to take a deeper look at what is it, and how to do it correctly. Coming in a bit. Hello and welcome to our channel, we are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia. The extended stop is a fluid motion with no interruption in the running flow sharing the same details of the speed stop, only that the last step will touch the ground in front of the body. If, in case of the speed stop, you'll jump up, in case of the extended stop the jump will be pointed towards the basket, which will make it similar to a long jump. The most important aspect of the skills training is the timing in any move, step, or combined footwork. For the extended stop, the dribble step timing is crucial, but this should be a rule for anything you'll try to achieve in your game. As a reminder, the dribble step is the dribbling that occurs slightly before or at the same time when the opposite leg related to the ball touches the floor. In contrast, the step with the leg underneath the ball is called the motion step. If the timing rule is respected, the extended stop will be unreadable, as for the defender it will be hard to know that the next step will be a jump forward. Maybe he will guess, but this will not happen every time. Now, maybe you can understand why skilled elite players prefer this move. Because it is simply hard to anticipate by the defense. Of course only when the conditions are met, meaning especially looks like a normal run, with the jump taking place only at the last moment. It is a very powerful move, which can confuse the very best adversaries, and when is executed by super players, it can finish with a spectacular John ja Morant dunk, an elegant Michael Jordan up and under, or a Kyrie Irving hangtime finish. You can train it adding any finish you want. We've ended with layups, or in some other training sessions we've done, I simulated the help defense closing Paro's driving lane, so he might go around me in the air. This approach is more game-like, rather than skill training, but you'll need also to do it after the extended stop will become one of your strengths. Train it consistently, and make it one of the best weapons in your offensive game, as it is a special move, reserved for elites, and you should aim for that status in your career. Don't forget the ambidexterity aspect, so go for it on both sides of your body, and take care of the details I presented, dribble step, and no pause in the flow. You'll make a lot of mistakes, but don't worry about that, the more you'll make the faster you'll progress, as your brain will be forced to find a way to solve the mystery. Go on and focus on the final result, cause it will come, and the epilogue will be great for you. Hope you've enjoyed our clip, and if you did, please give us a thumb up, check also those videos too, and if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell, so you'll not lose anything.